the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Casa Roble, friends, family, faculty, and class of 2020. Thank you for tuning in to our 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. My name is Isabella Fini, and I'm the senior class president. I would like to first start off by thanking the Casa Roble staff, especially the teachers, for helping us get to where we are today. Even during a global pandemic, the teachers stepped up and made us online curriculum to continue to support us. And for that, we thank you. Now, let's look back on our first day of high school. It was August 11th of 2016 when we first stepped foot on Castle Robles campus as students. Many of us had new backpacks, hydroflasks covered in stickers, and saltwater sandals were all the rage. Back then, Alex Domoschik's hair wasn't even long enough to be put into a ponytail. Freshman year was full of firsts. The first football game was the Cowboy Classic beat BV football game. To no one's surprise, the Rams defeated the Broncos, setting us up for a four-year winning streak. Most of us can probably recall the first day of PE where we looked as fashionable as ever in our white t-shirt and navy blue shorts. Mrs. Warren's health class was probably one of the more eventful classes from freshman year. I mean, how could it not have been? We learned so much, like the dangers of drugs, the importance of decision making, and that bananas are not just for eating. Speaking of Miss Warren, I wonder how many of us ended up on her wall of shame. <laughs> Moving on to sophomore year. The bell schedule changed and would continue to the rest of our time at CASA. We were the last sophomore class to wear green and we sure did make it an eventful year. This was also the year the class of 2018 larked on Senior Square for their senior prank. Our sophomore year, we learned many different things from new teachers like not to fall asleep in Mr. Gern's class and the importance of intellectual curiosity in Mr. Alp's class. On February 14th of 2018, tragedy hit Parkland, Florida with yet another deadly school shooting. This motivated many students across the nation to participate in walkouts to promote gun regulation, including here at Casa Roble. We came together as a campus to share our thoughts and opinions on the issue of automatic weapons. While it was raining, I might add, Junior year was definitely a year of change. For many of us, we began driving, taking AP classes, and the dreaded SAT. We were the first junior class to wear white at the rallies where we absolutely dominated, winning three in the 2019 school year. Our brand new football field was used for the first time, paving the way for a great season, as the Rams went on to play in the section championship. This was also the year the comp cheer team won their first section title. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you for constantly reminding us. This is the first time we sang along to the hit song Mo Bamba was at the Cassaba dance. And I think we all can agree seeing the look on the teachers' faces was absolutely priceless. Our junior year began the construction on campus, which would last the rest of our time at CASA. We watched the Roundhouse Library and our beloved senior square get torn down to be made brand new. Walking to class took a little longer than usual, but at least we had some good music to listen to. Senior year began on August 15th of 2019, bright and early on Rainbow Bridge for Senior Sunrise. We all ate donuts and prepared for what is known as the best year of high school. For our last homecoming football game, we threw pink powder in the air in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which looked pretty cool if I do say so myself. Some of us participated in painting customized parking spots, which set a number for the record of spots sold. During the hours of painting, many of us were reminded of the importance of sunscreen, or maybe that was just me. We kept the rally winning streak strong senior year, winning the Cassaba Rally and the Winter Rally. This was also the year the video master himself, Keone Films, came to CASA and produced great videos that documented our school year. Since we did not have a senior square to call our own, many of us sat in B2 at lunchtime. Sorry, Bobby, but thank you for letting us use your room. None of us would imagine that March 13th would have been our last day attending classes at Casa Roble. We missed out on many lasts like prom, senior goodbye rally, spring sports senior nights, and much more. While we did not get the senior year we wanted, we made the best of our situation. The class of 2020 stood together in these troubling times, even though we could not physically be there for one another. At the end of the day, we were, and still are, dealing with the same loss. I have never felt closer to my class than I do right now, and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same. Now, to conclude my speech, I would like to quote one of the greatest teachers to ever teach at CASA, Mrs. Bear. As many of you know, today is Friday, and a quite inspirational one, I might add. I think you guys know where this one's going. 
So to my class of 2020, happy graduation day, and yes, it's Inspirational Friday. Now, I would like to introduce our principal, Mrs. Lorenzo, to honor our valedictorians. Thank you. Parents, families, and loved ones, we are so honored to share in your joy today as we celebrate the Castle Robo graduating class of 2020. I'd like to start by thanking the community of Casa Robo, our parents, volunteers, many staff members, who with their willingness to help and support have brought our graduates to this place today. Together and through patience, understanding, and lots of encouragement during this very unsettling and changed school year, we were able to shape some of the most exceptional scholars, athletes, artists, performers of the class of 2020. Class of 2020, you are special and you will be remembered significantly for your connections to others. You're recognized as a group has brought us an absolute abundance of smiles, your laughs and very rich discourse. You seamlessly established caring relationships with our staff and our community members, and you gracefully endured our changing systems and facilities. It is a class like you who we never forget. It is a class like you who leave us with wonderful lasting memories with the test of time will cease to fade. Thank you, all of you, for the wonderful memories. I now have the privilege of honoring 37 of the most committed and hardworking individuals from the class of 2020. The Casa Robo valedictorian scholars are being honored today for having a cumulative weighted grade point average of 4.0 or better. Their accomplishments are recognized with the endowment of a valedictorian medal. The valedictorian scholars for the class of 2020 are Alexandria Allen, Savannah Argo, Destiny Bebb, Christopher Billings, Dalton Branson, Clarissa Carchada Mendoza, Nicholas Chiara, Anna Chisholm, Hannah Dalton, Benjamin Dietrich, Emily Ennart, Isabella Feeney, Niccolo Philippe, Will Grossman, Abigail Harris, Ansley Hughes, Matthew Johnson, Tara Johnson, Evan Clewer, Brooke Lewis, Jasmine Lewis, Kira Lautzenheiser, Lindsay McKinnon, Priscilla Maldonado, Jaslyn Marshall, Jaden Meek, Aurora Meneghetti, Shelby Nichols, Nina Onya, Taya Parks, Sydney Pierman, Kylie Plaster, Brett Ragali, Eliza Rea, Samuel Royston, Esther Dagenzu, and Deja Wetterburn. Congratulations, valedictorians, and congratulations to the entire class of 2020. We are so proud of you. I'd now like to introduce Castle Robles Sr. Connor Brink, who has a message of journey for the class of 2020. I just want to start off by giving a big thank you to everyone for helping us reach this milestone. To our families, who always nagged, I mean, <laughs> encouraged us to get our work done. A special thanks to the teachers who worked so hard to make long distance learning possible and continue to help us towards our goals. There are some great teachers at CASA that have encouraged and supported us and allowed us to express ourselves. One teacher even allowed me to give daily presentations about birds during class. So thank you all for everything you've done for us. Today's bird of the day is the northern pintail which is a kind of dabbling duck. A dabbling duck is any species of duck that feeds in shallow waters, as opposed to diving ducks, which feed in dive, uh, deeper waters. I promise I'm going somewhere with this. With that said, the northern pintail gets its name from the long tail feathers on the drakes, which are male ducks. And northern pintails can fly up to speeds of 65 miles per hour, which is at the upper end of waterfowl speeds. However, the most notable thing about pintails, at least in my opinion, is that they are among the first species to begin migrating in the fall and in the spring. So why am I bringing this up? 
Well, I guess it's because migration is a journey. We're about to embark on our own journey. And personally, I am shaking in my boots over it. So I wanted to look to the experts to see if we could learn something from them. I suppose we should understand what it means to go on a journey before we embark on the biggest journey on our, of our lives. Let me ask you this, and just think about it for a second. Is the duck that begins its journey the same when it arrives at its destination? The answer is no. The duck is not the same because it has traveled many more miles than it had before, and who knows what that duck went through to get there. Because of this, the duck has changed. And that is what a journey is, the growth between one point and another. Everything you've been through to be here today, that is growth. I chose the pintail as today's bird of the day because of how early they begin their migration. They don't seem to be afraid to start another journey, and maybe we shouldn't be either. I think the reason that pintails aren't afraid is because they don't think about the journey before they go on it. They just focus on one wing beat at a time. We have come all this way together, and we have been through so much to be here. We've made some mistakes along the way, and we've been knocked down over and over again. But I've yet to see anyone stay down, especially with the recent pandemic knocking us down and trying to rob us of our senior year. But we refuse to let that stop us from graduating. We have been resilient and made many memories in spite of it. We are the class of 2020, and I, for one, am proud to be among such a strong group of people. We have powered through every obstacle together, but now it's time to walk along different paths. And if you don't know which path to choose, that's okay. But when you're making your decision, just make sure it's actually you who is making the decision. Don't choose the path you think you should choose or the one you've been told to walk. The right path is always going to be the one you want to choose. You know yourself better than anyone. Only you know who you truly are and who you would like to become. Life from here on out is going to be a challenge. There is no doubt in my mind about that. But as long as you give yourself the freedom to be who you are, nothing can stand in your way. The world is yours. Nobody can argue that. The only person who can experience the world the way you do is you. After all, we're living individual lives together. So take control of your world, because no one else can. There is no better feeling than being free to make your own choices. CASA was the perfect place for me to start doing this. Never have I felt unappreciated at CASA. CASA has never discouraged me, but rather kept me, kept pushing me to go higher, because there are no limits to being yourself. It's what let me be the bird-loving, saltine-eating comedian you know today. CASA is more than a school. It's a family that never leaves you behind, that always pushes you to be the best you you can be. CASA does everything they can to get us ready to make the next step. You might not feel ready. You might even be nervous about the next step. But believe me when I say you are ready. Freshman year on schedule pickup, I was so nervous that day, I threw up in a trash can for all to see. That was the beginning of the biggest change in my life. Now, here I am, speaking in front of the entire class of 2020, who are all graduating today. We are mighty, even when we feel weak. And we might be afraid, but even still, we are about to go and conquer the world. We can go beyond our dreams and then some. We know who we are. 
We are the class of 2020. We are Casa Roble. Now I would like to turn it over to San Juan Unified School District Board Member, Mrs. Pam Costa, who will make congratulatory remarks. And following Mrs. Pam Costa will be San Juan Unified School District Superintendent Kent Kern, who will certify the Casa Roble class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to congratulate you on your great achievement. Congratulations to the Casa Roble class of 2020. Also, congratulations to the parents, family members, and friends of the graduates. A sincere thank you to the dedicated staff who have taught, supported, counseled, and led the school during this time here. I have a special place in my heart for Casa Roble because my son graduated from Casa. Also, your own Dr. Horner was a second grade student in my classroom. So I was very excited to be speaking at your graduation. This is a graduation that none of us wanted for you. It's disappointing. Your graduation ceremony is the gateway into your new adult life. 2020 didn't allow any of the typical senior traditions. I wish I could wave a magic wand and you'd have the event of your dreams. Unfortunately, life just doesn't work that way. When I started thinking back to my visits to CASA over the last three years, I realized that you've had more changes than just your senior year being disrupted. You have experienced the loss of Senior Square, the library, the roundhouse, and your stadium during the construction projects. That is a lot of change. Through it all, you've risen above and created your own traditions. You've celebrated your new health academy, which came out of the construction. When I've spoken to you at ribbon cuttings, you've talked about how much better things will be for the classes that come after you. And therefore, you could live with the changes created by construction because CASA was going to be better for others. Please don't lose that resilience to rise above the obstacles that are in your way. There are always obstacles, some little and inconvenient and some major. There are people who let obstacles crush their dreams and others do what you have done and move forward and create new dreams and new goals. Please don't lose the focus on others who come after you or even those who came before you. That compassion and empathy makes the world more livable and more human. My wish for you as you move out into the larger world is that you will never lose your voice and your leadership skills. As an adult, the biggest use of your voice is to vote. Always speak out when you see injustice or bullying or mistreatment of others. Use your voice to praise those who are doing well or even trying to do their best. My wish is that you always stand as leaders in your chosen field. Model what is right. You have strong moral compasses. Act towards others the way you want to be treated. Look for ways for your company or your business or your department to make the world better. You have become experts in change during the last four years. I think that you will, that will make you well prepared for dealing with the changes in the years ahead. Margaret Mead said, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed, that's all we ever have. I believe that you are the caring people who can change the world for better. I am counting on you. Congratulations, Casa Roble graduates of 2020. Hello, I'm Superintendent Kent Kern. By the power vested in me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees of the San Juan Unified School District, I hereby authorize the issuance of diplomas of graduation to the students of Casa Roble's graduating class of 2020. Kyle Anthony Ablog. Joshua Thomas Adams Alexis Adriana Aguado Dylan James Ahern Samantha Marie Akers Alexandria Lee Allen Brianna Yumi Anderson Audrey Margaret Angulo 
Nigel Johan Appledorn. Savannah Cassidy Argo. Cameron Scott Armstrong. John Artan. Sloan Retta Aubon. Mitchell Allen Glenn Baker. Riley Jane Bannister. Connor Gordon Barnes. Benicio Antonio Barrera. Andrew Robert Bauer. Destiny Raging Beb. Kyle Alton Bedford. Laney Ann Bile. Devin Lewis Bell. Samuel Michael Beltran. Mackenzie Angelica Bezek. Ashlyn Nicole Billings. Brianna Joyce Billings. Christopher Bruce Billings. Lucas Dean Bishop. Julia Marie Booth. Luke Thomas Borges. Dalton William Branson. Connor Holden Brink. Mason Orlando Augu Brown. Landon Bryant Burks. Tyler David Butters. Jaime Alicia Cadenas Lara. Christopher Cruz Capal. Clarissa Caratachea Mendoza. Estefania Carmona. Keone Bernard Carrion. Danica Ray Rose Carruthers. Thomas Eugene Cherry. Nicholas Raymond Chiara. Anna Jade Chisholm. Artyom Chikailo. Kylie Lynn Clift. Daniel David Cohen. Samara Eileen Koya. Tevin Maurice Collins. Ingram Bradford Cook. Katie Joyce Cooper. Alyssa Lynn Copeland. Troy William Cox. Hannah Rose Dalton. Lauren Donku. Alyssa Monet Davis. Benjamin Ryan Dawes. Jonathan DePaz Torres. 
Isabella Adriana Del Horno. Alyssa Lorene Dickerman. Evan Michael Diggs. Justin Harley Dingman. Benjamin Davis Dittrich. John Thomas Dixon. Dakota Lauren Donabedian. Colin Matthew Doherty. David Michael Dudgeon. Travis Michael Dumas. Bradley Christian Dungan. Nicholas Duran. Adam Michael Ahinger. Devin Thomas Emmerich. Emily Ann Enyart. Sean Michael Everson. Isabella Monet Fini. Nicolo Armand Bellarmino Felipe. Emily Ann Fitzgerald. Carlos Daniel Flores Reina. Michael Edward Fragnito. Alyssa Juliana Frankel Jimenez. Carly Mae Galbraith. Casey Jules Galagos. Austin Michael Gandy. Isaac Garcia. Samuel Clayton Godby. Emily Elizabeth Goff. Angelo Ponce Gomez. Esme Alice Gonzalez. Jessica Joanne Gowdy. Mason James Graham. Ryan Joe Green. Olivia Marguerite Griffith. Will Joseph Grossman. Rebecca Ann Halverson. Kimberly Elise Hardier. Abigail Ruth Harris. Haley Morgan Harris. Owen Patrick Harvey. Carl Preston Hayes. Maria de los Angeles Hernandez Astor. Lillian Grace Hess. Kylie Ruth Hildebrandt. Cameron Ray Hipwell. Sierra Mary Hipwell. Anthony David Hickson. Madison Jean Hobdy. Jordan Laverne Hodgkin. Lexi Patricia Hooper. 
Ainsley Elise Hughes Marciano Adonte Houston Connor Bailey Hutton Lillian Angelina Insaturn Igor Sergeyevich Ivanov Eva Moet Jacobson Chelsea Isabella James Logan Thomas Jason Tara Brooke Johnson Matthew Paul Johnson Miraz Christian A. M. K. Kalwa Zachary David Kashuba Evan Matthew Clewer Alexia Faith Klima Harold Carson Convalin Vadim Korchak Alan Jared Korngebel Dylan Matthew Kramer Alex Joseph Kulaga Dante Drayden Lafleur Mason Michael Lambright Anastasia Ivanovna Larshan Logan Letham Gage Luis Leonardi Brendan James Leonetti Brooke Rose Lewis Jasmine Bailey Lewis Curtis Michael Linares Alexa Noemi Loeffler Kira Sky Lotzenheiser Madison Michelle Lyon Annika Catherine Mack Lindsay Kate McKinnon Priscilla Mireya Maldonado Cristaly Maldonado Sanchez Parker Riley Malstrom Eric Thomas Morrow Jaslyn Elsie Marshall Nicholas Brendan Martin Tyler Scott Martin Gabriel Ethan McCarthy Dulce Maria Madrano Jaden Lane Meek Kaylee Allison Melvold Aurora Nanette Meneghetti Ahmed G. Marsal Seth Robert Moore Shireen Mrad Sethan Gage Musgrave Tristan Allen Nash 
David Alexandrovi Nafrotsky. Liam Robert Scott Neely. Shelby Lynn Nicholas. Jacob Conrad Noel. Nicholas Derdarian Nossel. Adan Isayas Nuno. Juan Ignacio Olguin Macero. Nina Isabel Albano Onya. Madison May Ormond. Matthew Nicholas Ortiz. Heather Brianne Owen. Samantha Raquel Palombi. Taya Alana Parks. Cameron Rochelle Parmeter Caraballo. Sydney Luis Pierman. Daniel Perez Pantoja. Sarah Abigail Petrosor. Alexis Nicole Petrucci. Avery Ruth Peary. Kylie Nicole Plaster. Coleman Chad Ponciano. William Thomas Price. Daniel N. Pratulik. Matthew Nathaniel Pumphrey. Jessica Lauren Quist. Brett Christopher Regagli. Bradley Wayne Rankin. Eliza Renee Raya. Emily Lynn Rippey. Logan Paul Roberts. Andy Marin Roeder. Samuel Eric Royston. Samuel Hamish Rither. Riley James Salagoidi. Grant Runyon Sarantikos. Timothy Dean Sawush. Ryan David Schwark. Matthew Dwayne Seagraves. Hasmik Serobian. Taylor Celeste Sharp. Noah Austin Sliwa. Tyler Christian Smith. Alyssa Nicole Sparks. Bain Robert Spitzer. Toby James Spitzer. Alex Peter Stelmaschik. Regan Tyler Stewart. Esther Andrea Tagintsev. Cambria Noel Taylor. Jacob Stephen Taylor. 
Kololia Christine Tenorio. William Charles Tarasinski. Peyton Corey Teschner. Brick Michael Thornton. Jasmine Melisa Tu. Dulciana Lucia Trinidad. Bria Danielle Ulrich. Kevin Valenzuela. Jacob Thomas Vega. Elizabeth Velazquez. Jordan Marguerite Ventioner. Andrew Paul Verdorn. Simon Anthony Villalobos. Brock Randall Vogt. Caitlin Christine Wagner. Deja Ann Wetterburn. Madeline Rose Whitworth. Kindra Marie Wieserek. Caitlin Casey Wilderman. Hannah Elizabeth Wilkin. Curtis Albert Williams. Marcelli Hannah Williams. Dylan Peyton Wilson. Ethan Dwayne Wilson. Hannah Lee Wilson. Austin Muldrup Wisnicki. Jenna Leanne Wright. Megan Edith Zandeval. Christian Blake Zerflu. Hi everyone, my name is Keone, but most of my friends know me as Keone Films because of the videos I made here at CASA. Now if you're like me, then the idea of graduating has always been a thought, a point in your life you thought you'd never reach. And yet, here we are. We finally did it. And of course, we, would, we wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of our friends, family, and the staff here at Casa Roble High School for the support. So thank you for that. I wanted to express how lucky I feel today, not just because we're all here graduating under the circumstances, but mainly because I switched to Casa Roble High School my senior year. And let me tell you, it's made all the difference. Before coming to CASA, I'll be honest with you guys, I absolutely hated school with a passion. I was unsatisfied, and that was my mindset. Long story short, my parents suggested that I not drop out of high school, but I switch schools, and here I am today. <laughs> and like I said before, it's made all the difference. Now, I wanted to tell you guys that story because I know how easy it can be to accept the way things are, even if we know it could be better. The day I woke up and realized I wanted to go to school was the day I realized how much I had been missing out on these past three years of high school. And it was, it was all because I didn't bother to do something about it earlier. At some point, we'll all face times in our lives where we'll be left wondering if things could simply be any better. And I guess that leaves us with the question, what are we going to do about it? You see, I can't begin to stress how much regret I would have if I didn't change something, if I didn't try something new. If I never would have transferred schools, I wouldn't have the friends I have today. 
I wouldn't have been able to drive my friend to school when his car broke down. I wouldn't have been able to make the videos here at CASA. And I wouldn't be the person I am right now. I feel lucky today to have enjoyed my final half year of high school. But in all honesty, it was never luck in the first place. In fact, all I did was make a small change. And sometimes that's all it'll ever take, a small change. So the next time you feel like you've hit a dead end, remember that even the smallest change can impact your life in ways you can't even begin to imagine. Class of 2020, this is only the beginning of an ending. Looking into the near future, some of us will be doctors, saving lives. Some of us will be artists, engineers, teachers, innovators of tomorrow. Some of us will make our own path and stray from the crowd. And that's okay too, because there's no right way to go about this. Most of us will go our separate ways, but we will continue to carry a piece of each other within ourselves because it is the very people you hung out with at lunch or talked to in class. Those are the people who not only got you through the last four years of high school, but they're the ones who made you who you are today. And let that be a reminder for the next time you feel uninspired or unmotivated, because mark my words, there will be a time. Maybe it's tomorrow or maybe it's five years from now. Remember that you accomplished something that you once felt was unreachable. And I hope each and every one of you live a life you're proud of. And if you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. I hope you have the courage to change whenever you need to. And I hope you try new things whenever you can. As our time together is coming to an end, I'd like to once again thank our teachers and staff here at CASA for the continuous support throughout the year, as well as our friends and family for the support and sacrifices that they've made for us. We wouldn't be here without you. With that, seniors, we have one final task to do before we graduate. Class of 2020, I'd like you to please rise. Now with your right hand, Please move your tassel from right to left, symbolizing the transition to the next stages of our lives. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are now graduated. Woo! <laughs>